the next phase of human life may be there. Scientists called the red planet. Mars. Hello and welcome to Z. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and is characterized by its extreme aridity, low temperatures, and lack of atmosphere. Mars is a dynamic planet that has seasons, polar ice caps, canyons, extinct volcanoes, and indications that it was even more active in the past. Canyons are a feature that are unique to Mars. Canyons are a feature that are unique to Mars. Mars is one of the bodies in our solar system that has been investigated the most. It is also the only planet in our solar system where we have dispatched rovers to traverse the alien environment. At the moment, NASA has three vehicles operating on the surface of Mars, one lander, named InSight, two rovers, named Curiosity and Perseverance, and one helicopter named Ingenuity. The largest and most technologically advanced rover that NASA has ever dispatched to another globe, the Perseverance rover, arrived on Mars on February 18, 2021, after a voyage that lasted 203 days and covered a distance of 293 million miles, 472 million kilometers. The helicopter known as Ingenuity traveled to Mars linked to the underbelly of the ship known as Perseverance. The spacecraft known as Perseverance was one of three that made it to Mars in the year 2021. On February 9, 2021, the Hope Orbiter, which had originated from the United Arab Emirates, arrived. The Tianwen-1 mission from China arrived on the Moon on February 10, 2021, and it consists of a rover, an orbiter, and a lander. Mars is also being investigated from orbit by spacecraft from Europe and India. When the Zhurong Mars rover successfully landed on Mars in May of 2021, China became only the second nation in the history of the planet to accomplish this feat. 2001 Mars Odyssey, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, and MAVEN are the three orbiters belonging to NASA that are part of the multinational fleet of eight orbiters that are now researching the red planet from above. These robotic explorers have unearthed a wealth of data suggesting that Mars had a thicker atmosphere, was warmer and wetter in its past, and dates back billions of years. The diameter as well as the distance around. Mars is not a sphere, despite its outward appearance. The planet rotates on its axis at a rate of once every 24.6 hours, which causes it to bulge at the equator, as do Earth and other planets. Mars has a diameter of 6,794 kilometers at its equator, however its diameter decreases to 4,196 kilometers when measured from pole to pole, 6,752 kilometers. The diameter of Mars is naturally half the value of the planet's radius. Mars's environment and atmosphere. The fundamental data of the atmosphere. In 1947, the Dutch-American astronomer Gerard Peter Kuiper used telescopic views to determine that the majority of the atmosphere of Mars is made up of carbon dioxide. The surface is subjected to a pressure that is less than 1% of that of Earth's atmosphere since the atmosphere is incredibly thin. Because of the significant topographic differences that can be seen at different altitudes on Mars, the surface pressures can vary by more than a factor of 15. At this point in time, there are just trace amounts of water found in the atmosphere. In the event that it did all fall as rain, it would only form a coating of ice crystals about 10 micrometers .0004 inch, thick, which could be collected into a solid block of ice that was not much bigger than a medium-sized terrestrial iceberg. Even though there is only a trace amount of water present, 
the atmosphere is extremely close to being saturated, and water ice clouds are widespread. Topographic depressions, such as valleys or craters, are common locations for the formation of low-lying clouds and fogs. Orographic clouds are produced when moist air is lifted over elevated terrain and cooled, and they form around prominent topographic features such as craters and volcanoes. Thin clouds are common at the morning terminator, which is the dividing line between the lit and unlit portions of the planet's disk. In the winter, spiral-shaped storm systems that move westward and are comparable to those that occur on Earth are frequently observed around mid-latitudes. The vast majority of these clouds, and in particular the white clouds that were seen by the early observers, are made up of water ice. Mars frequently experiences dust storms. They can happen at any time but are most common in the southern spring and summer, when Mars is passing closest to the sun and surface temperatures are at their maximum. Although they can happen at any time, they are more common in the southern spring and summer. The majority of the storms are limited to a regional area and linger for several weeks. However, every other or every third year, the dust storms spread all over the world. At their height, dust storms can carry particles so high into the sky that the only visible features are the highest points of the planet's volcanoes, which can be up to 21 kilometers, 13 miles, above the mean radius of the planet. Even though they are too small to be seen from Earth, dust devils have been detected from Mars orbit and at the numerous landing sites where spacecraft have touched down. Dust devils are supposed to be responsible for creating the narrow trails that can be seen in high-resolution photos obtained from orbit. The temperature that is typical in the lower atmosphere is approximately 200 kevins, K, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 70 degrees Celsius, which is generally colder than the average surface temperature during the daytime, which is 250 K, 10 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius. These values fall within the same general range as those that are observed in Antarctica during the winter months on Earth. Daytime temperatures can reach a maximum of approximately 290 Kelvin, 62 degrees Fahrenheit or 17 degrees Celsius, in the summertime above a very dark surface. Above the turbulent layer that is close to the surface, the temperature drops with elevation at a rate of around 1.5 Kelvin, 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit, 1.5 degrees Celsius, every kilometer, about 2.4 Kelvin, 4.3 degrees Fahrenheit, 2.4 degrees Celsius, per mile. Mars's atmosphere, in contrast to that of Earth, is subject to significant seasonal shifts in pressure due to the fact that carbon dioxide, the planet's primary ingredient, snows out at the planet's north pole during the winter and sublimates back into a gas during the spring. Because the winter ice cap that forms in the south is larger than the one that forms in the north, the air pressure drops to its lowest point in the southern winter, when the winter ice cap in the south is at its greatest extent. Because roughly 7.9 trillion metric tons of carbon dioxide leave and re-enter the atmosphere on a monthly basis, the atmospheric pressure fluctuates annually by a factor of 26%. This is roughly comparable to a thickness of at least 23 centimeters, 9 inches, of solid carbon dioxide, dry ice, or several meters of carbon dioxide snow when averaged over the huge area of the seasonal polar caps. Taking a look at the atmospheres of Mars and Earth. Mars has a diameter that is approximately half that of Earth, and its atmosphere is significantly thinner as a result, its atmospheric volume is less than 1% of that of Earth. The atmosphere is predominantly composed of carbon dioxide, whereas the atmosphere of Earth is abundant in nitrogen and oxygen. Another notable difference is the makeup of the atmosphere. Mars's atmosphere has changed over time, there is evidence on the surface that suggests the planet was significantly warmer and wetter in the past. One of the primary goals of the ExoMars mission, 
which is a collaboration between the European Space Agency and the Russian Space Agency, is to investigate the possibility that life ever flourished on Mars despite the harsh environmental circumstances. The ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter has the capability to analyze extremely small samples of a planet's atmosphere in order to determine its trace gas composition. Trace gases account for less than 1% of the volume of a planet's atmosphere. Methane in particular is an important indicator of the planet's current activity level, despite the fact that it only makes up a relatively small percentage of the overall inventory of gases found in the atmosphere. On Earth, biological creatures are responsible for the production of the majority of the planet's methane. In addition to this, it is the primary constituent of naturally occurring reservoirs of hydrocarbon gas, which also receive a contribution from both volcanic and hydrothermal activity. Confirming the presence of methane on Mars and determining which of its possible sources it comes from is one of the highest priorities for the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter. This is because natural biological processes play such an important part in the generation of methane on Earth. Mars is full of interesting and amusing little-known facts. 1. Mars is sometimes referred to as the Red Planet. This is due to the fact that Mars is entirely covered in soil, rock, and dust composed of iron oxide, which causes the surface to have a rusty red color. 2. The Roman god of war was given Mars as a name for the planet. 3. Mars has two moons that orbit it, their names are Deimos and Phobos. They got their names from the two horses that were used to pull the chariot of Mars, the Roman god of war. It's possible that Mars' gravity has captured them asteroids. 4. The fourth planet out from the Sun is called Mars. The distance from here to the Sun is 227,936,637 kilometers, 141 million miles. To reach there from Earth would take approximately 8 months and 300 days. 5. The diameter of Mars is only 4,217 miles, making it far smaller than Earth. As a result, it holds the position of being the second smallest planet in our solar system. 6. The Martian day consists of 24 hours and 37 minutes. 7. The length of a year on Mars is exactly 687 days. That is 1.9 years on our planet. This is because Mars is situated further away from the Sun, which results in a longer orbital period around the star. 8. Mars has a tilt of 25 degrees on its axial plane, which means that the planet goes through seasons in the same way that we do here on Earth. This is because various sections of the planet are closer to the Sun at different periods of its cycle around the Sun. 9. The atmosphere of Mars is composed of carbon dioxide for 95.9% .9 of its volume and nitrogen for 2.7%. The atmosphere is so thin that it is not thick enough to trap the heat of the sun, hence the surface temperature is extremely low, ranging from minus 100 degrees Celsius in the winter to 20 degrees Celsius in the summer. 10. Mars' gravity is not nearly as strong as Earth's. The gravitational pull of Mars is 37% weaker than that of Earth. This indicates that the average vertical leap on Mars would be three times that of Earth. Thank you for being with us.